have what you want, be what you want, do what you want. This is a diamond, but this ain't how it started. And if you think the person you are right now is going to get you to this level, you've lost your mind. Specific, specific questions, um, man. Just, just give your, you know, just give your, uh, just a roundabout how you feel about it. You know how you feel about the project. Man, I think to start, it's so much growth from now. You feel like I don't know. I feel like you just walking in your shoes, man. and it, it comes through. Like you hear it in the tone. This shit got to work, and you, it sounds like that throughout the whole thing. So like, man, every song I kept going, this, this is my favorite, this is my favorite, this is my favorite, and then I'm like, man, the whole thing rocking. So, uh, it's a lot, I hear a lot in it. I hear, I hear Quiz battling with itself. I hear Quiz battling with society. Uh, I love like, you talking about the mental. And you like, I want you to tap into my own. It's, I feel like I, I feel like you definitely get the audience to really tap in and hear and experience shit that you didn't experience without even being like, man, paint the picture like, like, see the blood on the throwback in the shoe strike, but I'm, I'm, I'm putting, I'm right there. And I'm, man, the shit was hard, dude. Like, the shit was hard. And then I love the order of it. I love the order of it because, like, within it, within, no hooks, straight through, just going, it, it feel like this nigga ain't stopping, right? It kind of get that impression like, okay, what's, what, it's something coming after this, but this nigga just kept going throughout the whole beat. So like, man, it's shit hard. Dude. I appreciate that, good. I appreciate that, for real. Um, so I, I, you said, you know, you felt like every song was your favorite. Yeah. Um, <laughs> If you had to pick a favorite, if you had to just single in on one that that you feel like is that you would say, man, I love all of them, but this one speaks to me. Oh, for sure. Like, which would it be, and, and why? It, you can you know, It's crazy because I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get to that for sure. But like every last one of these, I, I, I felt right. Like this is my spirit. Like I told you when, it, when you first dropped it. The, the earlier version of it, I listened to this shit every morning because I was feeling like that. I'm like, you know, it's COVID, it's COVID, and all this shit. And it's like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm just going to rock it, high, rock it. And, and people don't see that. People don't always see that because you ain't going to post that on, on social media. But like, I don't feel that before. So, like, I, when he first dropped it, I was like, damn. So, this shit was on play for, for a month at least. And then, uh, like, man. I like that just because we can relate on the corporate corporate side and seeing like they don't give a fuck about you, you know. And even through that, like fuck, I don't found freedom and liberation. Like this, I'm glad I lost what I thought was so important to me. And but like like, and it could be because it's the newest one. So I'm gonna say them two, but then uh, EH two GB like, bro, I started crying like off the first fucking bar like I was I was tapped in through that whole song like so yeah if, if it was one that resonated with me just from you know uh 
talking about depression, cloud and rain that keep coming in. And, uh, man, like the, the the family part of it, or losing the friends and then turning on the news, like man, like Friday night, I'm trying to see what 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 high schools we done got and all that, and you see the news, and and that was like, like I. You know, I write my book about the time I was sitting there, okay, my daddy on the news. I'm like, oh, this shit is serious. Like, it just put me in, in so many different situations throughout my life, like throughout the span of my life. I was like, bro, like, I should, I could have wrote this. Like, like not, not, I couldn't have put it together like you did it, but I could have said this stuff, right? And so, like, that shit, it touched me, bro. Like, I cried the first time I had to re-listen to it because I couldn't. I appreciate that because I appreciate the, the vulnerability of your answer too. Um, even with, with the vulnerability of the track, you know, um, I think we're living in a time where everybody's going through something. And I think this is a, a relatable piece with anybody who's being honest with themselves. Um, do you have a bar that sticks out. Yeah. Oh man. That song was all the way through. Oh, you know what it was? It was a. Uh, had to go to college to learn about post traumatic and learn how to go into this since I was adolescent. Like, I think that one for, for me, because it, it resonates so much with the story that I've heard. Of. Know, all the stuff that was normalized when you get to that point of realization, like, damn, I don't went through like I, for, for all this time I've been happy go lucky. This is me living life, and then all of a sudden, you're like, I've been going through this shit. They done wrote books this damn big on you know one month of my life as a kid, you know I mean? and uh, so yeah, like like I think for me, like like college, me going from from from. You know, public school MBA was kind of like that same transition of just being exposed to something totally different and then learning psychology I'm like oh man like so yeah that that part because I feel like it's just, it's just just like it's the same thing that I'm experiencing right now so, so I got two more questions um first with with mental health um mental wellness being the bar that I was trying to meet with this project, um, do you feel like I met that bar? I, I mean, I, I, I wrote down every time you said mental health or a, a form of you know, depression, I wrote it down when I was taking notes and so absolutely, like I can run through every single song, you know, trying to get my mental A1, come and take a look into my mental depression, post traumatic, like you hearing all these things and I think like that's 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 the awareness. You know, a kid can hear this and might not know what the hell Quid is talking about when he said post traumatic. But then they grow older and they hear other bits, and so they start picking up on Quid said something about that. And that's a big story. You know, just just hearing hearing that throughout, even if it's a kid who don't even understand it all the way, uh, is is ever present. And then you know, you talk a lot about like the the inner dialogue with yourself throughout the whole thing, you know, like, I gotta get my ass up, I'm telling myself this and that, uh, man, like, and that's something I noticed, like, at the beginning, and I don't know if, like, because we talked in the past, how you, you can go back and listen to some of like, man, I was talking to myself right there, like, I was giving myself advice and I was saying you, and it's kind of like that throughout, throughout the uh, whole, whole uh, uh, project, but in the front, it's like, you, you identify with these things, I, 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 I. And then it's almost like a shift, and at the end of the day, you like, you were like this, you were this, you were like, no, like, it's like you done got out of body, and then you're saying, go get it. So, like, I hear the mental health of like identifying and, and, and owning these different forms, these different illnesses that we may have. Uh, but then I also hear you overcoming that and, and coming out and saying, and you know, went through some shit, like, it's time for you to go get it. Mm. Absolutely. 
that's a cool one. <laughs> that's hey, a great answer because I didn't even see it that way. I didn't see it. I do. I definitely would lift my spirits. I definitely listen back and I'm like, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I was like, okay, I, I heard that. But then I didn't put that together with at the end of event. You know what I'm saying? You. Yeah. You know, it's something in you that's yeah. not in them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't I didn't piece that together. So thank mm-hmm. you for that. Yeah. Um lastly lastly. Uh what I asked the you know the other couple of people was one of the insecurities that I had with nine um initially and still was that it was so short. Mm. In my in my mm-hmm. eyes. Um it was only six songs, but I felt like in six songs, it was it was thick in content. Mm-hmm. It was very meaty in content. Um, with this one, I also have that same insecurity because it's a song shorter. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I, I battle a lot with myself on, do I wanna add another song? Mm-hmm. And I had to sit with this project for a while, be like, did I, did I meet what I wanted to say in this? Or should I add more? Should I? you know, playing that with what you got out of it being five songs is my best effort at in a short project being conceptual. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't want it to feel like an EP. I wanted it to feel like a fast album. You know what I'm saying? Um, do you feel that it could have been longer, you wanted it to be longer, and is that a, like a bad, if you did, is that a bad feeling? Or is yeah. it more so like, it just leaves me one more for yeah. you? I think, when I, I think like understanding what your objective are with the project is like, you know, you see some some new artists got twenty songs, two of hit, right? You got five for five. You know what I'm saying? So like that's that's different. And cause like I could have said to him, listen to it four more times before I say come on, like like and so like it I think for for your your objectives and how you hitting people with real content, real music, real lyrics. I think I like the length is great, like quality over quantity all day long. You know what I'm saying? So um, it does just because it, it, I don't know, it kind of crescendo with like you running at me on the hill. That I did. I was like, damn, I want to hear some more shit. Like I want to hear this new, this this confident, this this quest that done. You know, ripped open and got out of his shell. I want to hit at that, but that's that's. I mean, that could be here. That could be in in the next project or whatever. But it's like, yes, I want more. If it's here or not, I don't know. Cause I, I mean, I can just loop through it. But um, I, yeah, I definitely get you know the the insecurities like ah, uh, should be. But when you put in quality to it, that, that trumps quantity all day long. All day long. So yes, yeah, like you, you deliver on your message. You deliver, in, you know, songs. And like, if you to put out another one, what, if, what if that one way able to land it? You know, what is strong as them? So like, you know, like this is what it said. So that's enough, man. I think we good, man. man. I think we good with that. What's up? It's Reggie Ford in the cut. Just listen to In the Rough by Quest Cantrell and. Man continues to impress me. Just blown away by this project. Five songs, but just heat on every single one. So definitely tap in and go check that out. In the rough.